I mean, there's so many uh, cards stacked against you to be successful meeting and marrying a beautiful Ukrainian woman on your own. Not saying it's not possible, just saying it's not probable. Would you Would you agree? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So any, any little tips uh, if guys want to try on their own what to do? <laughs> what to do? Don't do it. Um, no, I wouldn't say don't, don't do it. it. Don't do it. Hey, Brian. Hey, Joe. How you Welcome doing? to Poltava. Yes. It's a beautiful spring, chilly day in Poltava. Yes. And uh, guys, Brian was our YouTube moderator for, gosh, almost a year, hey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Almost a year. Uh, without pay, commenting to help you guys. Um, Brian's agreed to sit with me, and the reason it's invaluable talking to Brian is because he, like myself, have been on this journey for how long? God, four years. Over four years now. I think, yeah. Almost five. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, he's a serious man that's looking for his other half in Ukraine. And has it been a bit of a rough journey? Mm, would you say? Yes, it has. It's been been interesting. It's been interesting. interesting. I mean, you've taken your lumps like me. Right, you've you've uh, you've got some some uh, learning pains. Oh yes. Yeah, but at the end of the day, would you say it's well worth it? Would you do it all over again? Oh yeah, I definitely do it again. Definitely. So guys, we're going to be raw and real with you on a whole bunch of topics here. In this video, we're going to do a series with Brian and I. First question to you, Brian, is how do you find a beautiful Ukrainian woman for marriage? in Ukraine. Oh my gosh. Outside of marriage agencies, of course. Ah, that's hard because if you don't speak the language and you don't know the customs, um, you're going to be like a fish out of water, just flopping around. Um, it's an interesting journey. It really, really is. Um, God, I don't even know where to begin with that one. It's almost impossible if you think about it, but yet it's not. But it's, it's a difficult journey if you don't speak the language. Yeah, if you're here, but I mean, I always tell guys, hey, uh, immerse yourself into society here. Mm-hmm. Go to church, uh, maybe uh, enroll in an English uh, school or Russian lessons, yes. you know, meet ladies, register for dancing. But, it, but you know, basically social immersion, right? Yes. But is it, gonna ha- is it going to is it going to happen quickly? Oh God! And is it easy? Oh no! No 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 no! To pick up women uh, in Ukraine. Well, number one, you're a foreigner. She's going to look at you first, kind of, hmm, what do you want? Yeah, <laughs> big non-trust factor. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Because and it's just because of the you know numerous years of the industry. Yeah, yeah. We uh, have a bad stigma here against foreigners as sex tourists yep. and unfortunately it's a social stigma that's uh, all over the country um, foreigner is uh, synonymous with sex tourists Correct. that's the perception and perception is unfortunately a reality so I mean there's so many uh, cards stacked against you to be successful meeting and marrying a beautiful Ukrainian woman on your own not saying it's not possible just saying it's not probable would you would you agree correct yeah. correct so any any little tips uh, if guys want to try on their own what to do <laughs> what to do don't do it um, <laughs> no, I wouldn't say don't, don't do it don't do it don't even try you, you get with a good agency you know Joe's got a good agency you get with somebody an agency that actually trying to actually go out and meet a woman on her own like you, you know I'm looking around here at the park and all the women here it would be almost impossible to walk up to one of these women and just start introducing ourselves and expect a date. Um, it doesn't work quite that way here. Um, Get yourself a good solid education, learn the culture, learn, learn a little the bit culture, of the language. Learn the language, the language is important now, and it's funny because I've had people come and ask me, should I learn Ukrainian or Russian? Well, you know, it depends on what side of the country you're on. If you're on the eastern side, more Russian, more Odessa, more Russian. Um, if you get towards Lviv, the west side of Kiev, Ukrainian, Venetia, you know, Ukrainian, that's what they're going to speak. So it depends on which area you're, you're venturing. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. And this concludes this video, guys. Uh, but we're going to do a video series with Brian and talk about all the juiciest topics. And remember, Brian has over a million hits on his uh, Trustpilot and Sight Jabber, reviewing 
marriage agencies in Ukraine. So some have been ripped down oh, yes. uh, by the agencies, uh, and he, you know, has spent hundreds of hours into this to help you guys out. So do your homework before you make your choice of agencies to work with. Uh, all Brian's reviews are in the links below this video. We'll see you next time on the next uh, of our series with Brian. Good luck. Yeah, good luck.